How you doing, Malcolm? Marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into humbly, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. Your marriage must stand by the strength of your love and the power of faith in each other and in God. When you're around everything is a song that we sing a busy world filled with sounds birds sing When you hold my heart and touch my hands, I can't help but do the same for you. Just as two threads moving in opposite directions, forming a beautiful drapery, so do your two lives when merged together will make a beautiful marriage. I'm already crying. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always believe in them, always expect the best in them, and will always stand your ground in defending them. In the morning light, my heart takes flight for the first thing. present give this woman to marry this man. I do. Thank you. Naida, when I look into your eyes, I see my heart, my hope, passion, and determination. I see my future family, successes, and the man I strive to be. I see my better half. I see the best version of me. I am not perfect, and I thank you for allowing me on this journey to grow with you. From this day forward, I vow to always put you first, to be a foundation whenever you need. I vow to love you with all of my heart until the day my soul returns to the universe. I vow to remain calm under pressure and to always protect and honor the integrity of our union in every way imaginable. And most importantly, I vow to always be the jit you fell in love with <laughs> and the man you will always need me to be. Now that you are forever my eternal beloved. You have anointed me the king I am today. Yes. You are my soulmate, and I would rather spend one lifetime without you than force all the ages, face all of the ages of the world alone. Amen. Naida. You may say your vows. 
Malcolm, today in front of our family and friends, I choose you as my husband to ride through this thing called life. They say you can tell how a man will treat you by the way he treats his mother. And although I always make fun of you for being a mama's boy. <laughs> yes, he is. It's one of the many reasons why I fell in love with you. From the first vulnerable conversation we had, I knew that God placed you in my life so that we could help each other become the best versions of ourselves and build our empire. Through the years, you have unlocked parts of me that I didn't even know were close. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't thank God for allowing me to meet my soulmate while on earth. So today, I vow to love you unconditionally, respect you as a person, partner, and equal, to support you through the good and the bad, and to be our role model for our future children way, way down the line. <laughs> And most importantly, I promise to travel the world and partake in unexpected adventures and activities until we are too old to do so. Amen. When we hold Amen. each other's hearts and touch each other's hands, you can't help but do the same thing too. saw you I already knew there was something inside of you something I thought that I would never find angel of mine I look at you looking at me now I know why they say the best things are free Malcolm, you may kiss your beautiful wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor, joy, and pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Malcolm and Naida Allen. there today and I saw Malcolm cry and I started crying and you know my dog B Mar started crying but really I I fell out man I was it, it was an emotional roller coaster um, mainly because I think when you've seen somebody go through their ups go through their downs try to figure out life try to do the right thing, um, and then you see them reach this, uh, a moment like today, it's, it's wild. Love, love, what is love? Love is something that's, you know, a beautiful thing that everybody should experience once in their lifetime. And um, it's a beautiful thing that we are gathered here today to experience between the, the bond between these two lovely people here. God bless. Shanna, Shanna. Welcome to the stage. Naida, you've had, you've had my heart 
since Auntie Linda announced it was a girl. I knew from that day on I had a right hand man till the day I died. Nye, I loved you in the beginning. I love you today. I will always love you forever and always. Congrats, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. You're welcome. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. All right. Uh, how do we explain her? Do we, we call her Danielle. <laughs> I don't know why you'd make me go after Anyway, the first time you left me, you were getting on a yellow school bus. I waited by the window for you. <sighs> the second time you left, you were packing up your room to go off to FSU, which I was okay with because I got to move into your room. <laughs> and I've kept it clean. But then you came back with Malcolm. And here you are leaving me again for the final and last time, officially going from Naida Mallory to Naida Allen. However, this time around, I couldn't be happier. Why? Because real true love is the warmth in your heart when your sister genuinely smiles with a twinkle in her eye. You've had that twinkle in your eye for years now, and I've yet to see it dwindle. I don't have to say that you have me for anything you need. I know it's evident. I show it. But you have me with anything that you need. God bless you both. I told you I should have been I love you. I love you too. Beautiful speech. I love you. I love you too. Linda. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to say after them. One memory that brings joy to my heart was when we went to Rome and we was visiting the Colosseum. It was so hot, I mean seriously hot. But Malcolm walked away for a minute and he came back with an umbrella. He purchased the umbrella to keep Naida out of the sun. He put shade on her. He won my heart again. <laughs> what a gentleman, I said. What a gentleman, I said to myself. His parents did an amazing job. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Allen, for doing an outstanding job. Can we applaud them, please? <laughs> this is real short. Now, as a little advice, as two of you embraced on your new life together, I wish you all the happiness, the peace, and the world. May you never go to bed angry. May you always begin each day with I love you. My darling's words have power, have power to heal and destroy you. We don't realize the power of a simple compliment. Take the time to make each other feel love. Develop the habit of using words to lift each other up. Praise, encourage, honor, respect each other. My dear daughter, my last words for you tonight is, always remember your value and your worth. You are a woman now and a wife to a loving husband. But in my heart, you will always be my little girl. I love you.